welcome back to another video here on free wolf photos today we are going to edit this photo of a tiger and i have no idea how it's going to come out but what i can do is tell you that it looks a little blurry so first thing we're going to do is drop some tack sharp ai on this image so i'm going to go ahead and click on noise and sharpening and then click on the tack sharp ai it's loading up right now and I think that that did a relatively decent job. Now, TechSharp AI doesn't always work for uh, my images, but I'm finding that on this particular photo, I think it's working well. So I'm just gonna zoom out so I can take a look at it over the entire image. I can see that it didn't render earlier up until just now. Uh, and now it is over the entire image. And I think that this I can work with, all right? Lost, I missed focus just a little bit, but Tack Sharp AI did recover the information in the tiger overall. So we're gonna let that render through, and then we're gonna jump into uh, the actual editing. Now, I'm not using Brilliance AI because I don't have Brilliance AI, I guess, tuned with the tax sharp AI and I don't want to erase what happened there. So I'm just going to do this myself eyeballing this and I'll just go ahead and push it, push the exposure a little bit, maybe even contrast the image quite a bit because I think that it helps bring out some of the richness in the fur here. Uh, I feel like I might be able to recover some of that highlight detail over the entire image. I may need to do that in local adjustments. And now let's pull up on the mids, maybe push them down actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for more of like focusing on this highlight and exposing the image for the highlight and then leaving the rest of the tiger to fall in this dappled light where, or into the shadow and then just having the dappled highlights on the skin. So that may, help me in the long term we'll see and i don't think i'm going to do anything globally when it comes to shadows because i actually like this to be dark uh in fact i'm going to push the blacks down so that way i really get some dark backgrounds there and i think that that's pretty good let me try vibrance just to see what this does for the tiger uh, actually, I do like what the vibrance is doing to the overall photo. So here's what we started with, and here's where we've gotten so far. Now it's time to take this a step further. So let's jump over to the local adjustments tab, and we're going to go ahead and just add an adjustment because I think I want to do all the masking myself because that's just the way I personally like to work inside of On One. So what we need to do is really just address these shadow areas. And I think I'll, you know what? I'm gonna actually start with the brighter areas. So I'm just gonna hit the exposure and I'm gonna use my brush and I'm going to paint right over each of these bright areas with a little bit of exposure. Maybe not that one, because I don't think that one needs it. And this is just going to help add some more interest to the image. And you'll see how I, I blend this in here shortly. So I'm actually just going to pull down on the opacity all the way until it's the effect isn't there. And then I'm just going to slowly bring it up like so. And I think that that's going to look good right there. So if I turn this off and turn it back on, it's kind of just a spotlight, which is good. Now what I'm going to do is add another adjustment. And this time I'm going to uh, use the, we're going to use the quick mask AI brush. All right. And this is, you know, the one that I've been showcasing on the channel for a little while now. But all I'm going to do is hover over and select the entire 
tiger with this particular brush and then make an adjustment to the exposure overall of the tiger. And you'll see that here once the photo gets done analyzing. But okay, so you know that it's done analyzing because the box goes away and you get this little crosshair. Then all I'm going to do is click and drag over the entire tiger and it does a really good job at selecting the tiger. And this doesn't need to be the most accurate selection. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a paint and hit the blue check mark. So now it's going to paint in the adjustments that I'm making here. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and increase the shadows increase the contrast and that's really helping bring out some some of the detail and the color in the tiger as a whole and then i'm gonna go ahead and push the exposure so now what i want to do because i think that it's getting a little too uh over processed is i'm going to come up to blending and i am going to change where it says here uh, color range. I'm going to hit shadows and see what happens. And then just bring this down. And all I'm trying to do is find a nice blend and maybe maybe somewhere around here is actually pretty nice. But maybe shadows isn't the right one. So Let's hover over midtones, and I think that's actually giving me a better adjustment. So if I turn this off and turn it back on, I think midtones is just right. Let's go ahead and pull the opacity down so it's not as intense in that midtone area. So turn this off, turn it back on, and I like what it's doing here. So I think that that's working out quite well. The face is a little dark. So I'm going to go ahead and add another adjustment and I should be renaming the adjustments, but for the sake of tutorial, I'm not. And I'm just going to go ahead and paint a negative exposure right over this area. I think I want to put it right in here and I'm going to invert this. So it's not going to stay as a negative exposure. It's actually going to come up as a positive exposure, but I don't want to overdo it, right? I just want it to show up in the fur so it's not in shadow and, and dark. Okay, maybe something like that. Everything is about subtle adjustments. And that, I think that that looks good. So now let's work on the eye. Now, I have a brush for eyes and it's called the Animal Eye Brush. The irony is it always comes up as Bird Eye Bright. I need to rename that and then resave it, but for the sake of tutorial purposes, it's not that important. And then I'm just gonna put this right over the eye. I don't like what it's doing to the top part of the eyebrow here, so I'm just gonna paint that away and then just click to paint that back into the eye. And then of course I made this brush extremely strong because depending on the image, you may need to work at a higher uh, potency and I don't need that for this image. So turning it off, turn it back on. think we are good to go there. And then I'll come down here and I will Click on this mask, right click, copy mask, come over to effects, add filter, dynamic contrast, right click, or click on the mask so I can activate it, right click, and then paste my dynamic contrast right on top of the tiger. And I like what's happening here. So now what I wanna do is kind of blur what's happening back over here. So I still got the tiger mask selected. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on, oh, not LUTs. I meant to click on lens blur. 
because I think that the lens blur will be a great addition. And I'll just go ahead and click on the mask, right click and paste. And then that's obviously going over the tiger, not what I want. So I'll hit invert and then we'll just pull down this opacity a little bit and maybe hit the letter O. Okay. Let's see about throwing in a little bit of feather. I may need to refine the mask because it's like bleeding over into the tiger. And I don't like that. So what we're going to do is click on refine. And I think we'll just go with the chisel tool, chisel brush, hit the letter O. And let's just bring our feather all the way down so it's a tighter uh, fit here. And then we will add more to the mask by double clicking. And that just trims it off the edges of the entire outline. Hit the letter O. And I think that that works just a little bit better. Yeah, and I think pulling the opacity down is probably for the better. And it's gonna be hard on, in the hair over here. So let's try the refine, to refine brush. And let's put this on, let's see what Otto does. It's on the hair and branches, so we'll just paint right over all of that. And let's see what happens. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to want to clean that up for us. Uh, it kind of did. I think we could work with that. It didn't do the greatest job that I would have hoped for it to do, but feel like it definitely helped out a little bit so I'll roll with it I think I think that we can live with that and let's just pull the brightness down for the background and if we pull down on the blooming it's not so obvious on the tiger so here's what we started with and with a little bit of work, here is what we have gotten to. Not the greatest, but definitely a lot more interesting than this. So if you want to watch more quick edit tutorials, go ahead and click the playlist that is on the screen now. And until the next time, I want you to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.